Hi folks, thanks for dropping by. During my daily work as an arborist, we can sometimes come across native bees' nests and they're found in the hollows of trees. So we do what we can to save the nest. You'll see here I'm unscrewing the perspex lid from the box. The perspex lid allows for inspection to see if the nest is healthy and also to inspect the honey. This bee box is made from durable Australian hardwood. And it's made in three sections, so later on when the, the nest is mature, it can be split very similar to honeybees nests. Left to the white arrow is a tiny native bee. They're about as big as a match head. They also pollinate some of our Australian native plants that uh, the European honeybee can't get to and they're used a lot on macadamia farms. Uh, they're also stingless. I've tried to show the bees here in time lapse. It's difficult to see, but if you look inside the hole, there's about four bees sitting there ready to fly off. Here we have a photograph of a European honeybee, some video. Australian native bee requires certain temperatures to work in, usually from 20 Celsius upwards. And here's some of the birds that land in our feeder. The, this one is a rainbow lorikeet. The other bird is a blue-faced honey eater. We get lots of parrots and honey eaters in our area. Well that's about it folks, if you like this video please like and subscribe and please share. See you again next time, thank you.